All right, and uh, the wines of International Wine Imports, Hermes and Laura Ortiz. Um, Laura's been spending a lot more time here, Hermes. I don't know what's going on, but uh, every other week, man, she's here now. But uh, some really interesting stuff in this portfolio. Interesting sometimes, not a good thing. Uh, today, we did have a couple things that I would just class classify as that. And um, some other good wines, though. Some surprises here in this lineup, like the Montalori Chianti, which we've had in the store for a couple years. And man, they've lowered the price on this wine. What a great little value for 13 bucks. But first up, we had a little uh, Sauvignon Blanc, the Manaya from Marlboro, which uh, this wine had some bright lime and grapefruit citrus on the notes, nose of white flowers, kind of sea salt aromas, fresh and bright on the tongue with that lovely zesty grapefruit citrus finish, and a little bit of that salt leaving your tongue salivate, salivating for food. I can't talk today. All right, very good stuff. The books are Pinot Noir from the Sonoma Coast. Um, sweet red cherry pie like fruit on the nose and a little bit of that cinnamon spice fresh flowers very enticing smooth and velvety on the tongue with that sweet red cherry fruit and a nice hand of spice in the finish very good stuff all right the Montalori Chianti like I said man great little value really pretty red cherry strawberry fruit a whiff of that fresh earth notes dried tobacco soft red berry fruit on the tongue really soft and drinkable and some nice freshness here really classic Chianti for $13.50 Excellent little value. All right, Tenuta Caretta, Nebbio La Vialba. Uh, this wine had that lovely sweet red cherry berry fruit, uh, rose petals, some exotic spice here, very enticing, very classic Nebbiolo. Uh, bright cherry berry fruit on the tongue, notes of those fresh flowers and spice showing through on that zesty finish. A very good little Nebbiolo di Alba for 20 bucks. The Tenuta Caretta, Nebbiolo di Alba, Tavoletto, which is a single vineyard uh, wine from this estate. Very similar bouquet there with fresh flowers, that red cherry fruit, notes of exotic spice, forward and seductive. A bit thicker and a little more concentrated on the palate, though, with a good hand of acidity and spice showing through on the finish. Maybe a little bit tart right now, the 2008 vintage. All right, the 2004, the Vigna di Zambo, Cabernet Sauvignon from Friuli. Hey, a pretty good little Cabernet, you know, not what we got a Friuli for, but they do make classic Bordeaux-style reds up here, pretty good as well, like dried herbs, cigar box spice, little black plum and dark cherry fruits, a nice savory style of Cabernet Sauvignon with some nice minerality and that herbaceousness showing on the finish for 15 bucks, a good little value. And then the big boy, the Pignolo Rosazzo from the Vigna di Zambo, Hey, they got all these, uh, what I call the uh, Disney character type varietals. Schia Pettino, Pignolo, Refosco, Tazelange. And uh, this wine's got a good amount of funk here on the nose. Dried meats, dried mushrooms, damp forest, florist floor, brown spices. Lovely, nice richness on the palate, though. A firm hand of acidity there, as well as a lot of fresh earth and spice nuance. Dry meat, good length on the finish. Uh, this wine needs a bit of time to open up but seems to have even more promise for the future. Excellent juice. Why would you show Valpolicella after Pignolo? I have no idea, Laura. But uh, we had the Labini Valpolicella Classico Superior Repasso next. And this wine, like I said, man, we just took a nosedive at this point in the tasting. You want to lead up to the best wines in your tasting to follow with this Lake uh, Petite Syrah Avril Lake, which was, man, funky to say the least on the nose. And uh, just, you know, not very good, my lowest rating. I mean, you could drink it, but why bother? Um, and even though it was cheap, not very good. And then the Oiga Kill, Cabernet Sauvignon. This is uh, Mauricio Loica, and unfortunately the last vintage of this wine. But, you know, very good bottle of Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, dark currant, cassisberry fruit in the nose, fresh plowed earth, fine herbs, and notes of kind of dried tobacco spice. Good amount of that plum and cherry fruit on the tongue with dry tan to showing up on the finish, and some dusty tobacco spice. Very good stuff from Oye Kill. All right, next up, Renato from Emson.